there's this concept of obviously the second brain yeah. and it's not new. It's been around for a while, but now with all of the advent of like tools like Notion and Evernote and all those things, right? You can really put stuff um, in a system, store it away, and then not have to really think about it, right? And you can just sort of just pull from that system as you need to. Mm-hmm. So what's what is obviously maybe give a sense of what is a second brain, but how do you use it effectively, and how do you use it to tie in? with all the systems that we just spoke about, the models and everything, to really give you the best chances for success. Yeah, the second brain is a really interesting concept because if you're if you're anything like me, and whether or not you have ADHD, I think everybody struggles with this, is that throughout the day you have just tens of thousands of random thoughts going through your brain. And some of them are really good, some of them are completely stupid, and like a lot of them are just repeat thoughts. But there's nothing worse than perseverating on a thought over and over and over, unless it's something that you're going to take action on in the moment, or you're perseverating on it with intention to try and find a solution or to problem solve it. But like the anxiety or just circling back and forth on a thought that in the moment there is no resolution, you're just wasting cognitive bandwidth trying to remember the thing or just trying to, I don't know, to almost self soothe in a lot of ways where it's like, Oh, what's, what's going to happen tomorrow when I have that conversation with so-and-so it's like, that doesn't matter. Like right now, like mulling it over and over and over, is not going to help? So as much as possible, I find it's helpful to try and close cognitive loops by extracting these things from my brain and putting them into a second brain. And that, at the core, that's really all the second brain is. It could be a journal. It could be notion. It could be a sauna. Like I use a combination of these tools but really the goal is to close cognitive loops so that your brain isn't perseverating on them by removing them and then being able to look at them later and then with intention craft a a plan for executing against it or to be able just be able to say you know what like i had this thought i had this great idea in the shower it's down i don't plan on doing anything with this right now but it's here so i'm not going to lose it so maybe in six months when i come back it's still there right and just the the, the fear of losing an idea just disappears because now you've retained it. The hardest part of the second brain concept for a lot of people is the actual implementation. Like how do I, how do I actually maintain this thing and use it consistently? And there's a ton of resources out there. My, my recommendation is that you don't overthink it. You don't overcomplicate because you can make a massively complicated second brain on, on notion. I've seen people do this where, the goal isn't to create a like a true functioning second brain with like elaborate filing systems and it like at a certain point you're just busy but not being effective and so what's the minimum viable product when it comes to creating a second brain that allows you to get things out of your head so that you're you're just carrying less mental load and that way when you do try to go into hyper focus like you're sitting down to create something you're not also trying to balance all this other junk in your head because you know it's in a safe place and that you're going to make time to come back to it. And so don't, don't let the, and this is where productivity systems, like I, I love productivity. I love the concept of it. I do I watch a lot of videos. I like consume a lot of content on it because I think it's a really fascinating subject, but at a certain point, learning more about productivity or just trying to like infinitely refine your system is less beneficial than just executing whatever, um, cobbled together system that you have. In a lot of cases, it's just better instead of trying to make a better axe to just take the axe you have and go chop wood. Just go chop more wood. 